A very good morning class 12th as promised I am back with the project ideas I'll be doing it in three parts this is the part one of the project ideas in chemistry and how to report those project ideas the project file was my last video where I had uploaded the sheets in which the order in which the sheet should be and how your project report should look like fine so in today's uh, video I'll be sharing um, five, six, five, six ideas for your project in chemistry. The first set of ideas that I am sharing with you are related to your cation analysis. Now, cation analysis is something which should be on your tips. This part is crucial for your practicals. It gives you around eight marks in your practicals for your cation analysis and anion analysis. So salt analysis is one important part that you need to do for your projects that I am talk, going to talk about today. There is an added advantage. If you do your salt analysis well, you gain marks in your practical, your viva as well as your project. You don't need to prepare separately for your project in that case. That is the basic advantage of choosing a project which is related to your practicals or to your theory because that you would definitely be preparing. So moving on with the project ideas of today in the part one of my video. This is Seema Makhijani presenting to you project ideas, the investigative project ideas in chemistry practicals for the year 2022. Okay. Now moving on to the first project idea. The first project idea that I have is aloe vera analysis. Now aloe vera these days is quite high in demand which means your application in daily life while a page can add on to many things you can write out points of medicinal benefits of aloe vera where you will write it down the applications in medicinal field how is it helpful what are the mineral ions present in the aloe vera now the raw materials that you require to do the project is either you take a fresh aloe vera leaf cut it from the sides peel it off and then remove that gel from it and use it as your OS and start off your analysis, salt analysis. In the end, you will report, you will be reporting the mineral lines that are present in your aloe vera solution that you have and each of the mineral lines has a use in your body or your skin, whatever it is. The Aloe vera that you use can also be a commercial brand of aloe vera if you want to use it. I would advise that you use a fresh leaf of aloe vera from which you can take out the extract. Please don't forget to take pictures of your project while you are in the process of um, making the solution, testing for the precipitates. All those images should be there with, your, with yourself so that it gives an authenticity to your project. That's one. Second project could be coconut water analysis. This is again a uh, cation salt analysis based project. You can take fresh coconut water which is transparent and clear solution and you can start your salt analysis with lead group 1, group 2 you go to arsenic and copper, group 3 you go to iron and aluminium, group 4 your manganese, nickel, cobalt, zinc, barium, strontium, calcium and magnesium. Also you can do the flame test with your solution add a little bit of HCl to it and perform a flame test to check for the presence of barium strontium and calcium. Now when you write negative tests that is also a project. You are investigating and investigatory project ka matlab hi hai what have you investigated. So writing it that it does not have copper is also an investigation. So agar aapke pure write up mein there are majorly negatives and a few positives don't worry that itself is important so your agenda for investigation project is you are investigating and you are confident about what you have done result nahi aaye that is also an achievement in investigative project where you would confidently say yes it does not have copper ions the third project idea is toothpaste analysis now when you do toothpaste analysis i would advise please take the latest brand of toothpaste colgate pepsodent if they have come up with a new gel toothpaste a red gel blue gel whatever it is 
you have those informations with you and you can take a latest brand to authenticate your project. The only problem with a toothpaste comes is that if it's a white toothpaste, you do not get a clear OS. So, in that case, what you need to do is, you need to prepare a sodium carbonate extract. Now, what is that? Take a small amount of toothpaste, add sodium carbonate to it, a pinch or two, add water to it, heat it and let it settle down. So, your anions would get settled down because they will form, your anions will get dissolved because they will form sodium sulfate, sodium phosphate, etc. Filter it off. Now this original solution that you have, you can test for your anions in this particular solution. Coming for cations, now in white color ke solution, you can white PPT, nahi dekh sakte na? which means OS is necessary to make OS. Take toothpaste ka solution and put dilute HCl in it. It will get cleared because your toothpaste majorly contains carbonates. That's why it's white and dissolved. So when you acidify it, it requires a large amount of acidification to become clear. Jab tak toothpaste ka solution clear nahi hai, you cannot proceed. So see to it that you get a transparent solution of a toothpaste. If not, then you can use a gel based toothpaste for your analysis, which could be a lighter colored gel so that you don't face problems. So if you have a white colored toothpaste, please make a clear solution for it which will be by adding excess of acid to neutralize all the basic salts, the carbonates present in it. Now, once you have a clear solution of toothpaste, you will again begin with your anion analysis, followed by the cation analysis, and your tables are to be written in the project file, and your results in the end. You can also mention the basicity of a toothpaste, how is it helpful for your non-cavity procedure, and your dentist advised this particular toothpaste, if at all you have that data, that your dentist has advised you Sensodyne or an oral B, then you better analyze that and find out what were the components and how were these two toothpastes, Sensodyne and oral B, how are these two toothpastes different from the third. So my advice is you take one conventional toothpaste, which could be Pepsodent or Colgate, and other than that, take another medicinally proved toothpaste or advised by a dentist and you can compare the two also. So that becomes the third project idea for analysis of toothpaste. Moving on to the fourth idea. The fourth one is honey analysis. Now in the market you would get honey by Dabur is what I know of. You also have Hamdard ka honey. That's up to you. You can take any one sample of honey. Now, is practical may there are two ways of going about it. In fact, there are two things that you can do. One is your presence of carbohydrate, proteins, fats, etc. Is ke test ke liye, there is already a video posted on my channel where there are food tests how they are to be done. You can watch those videos and do the same onto your honey solution. Syrup honey ni lena. Take two drops of honey, add around four to five ml of water, make a solution, and that becomes your solution to test. Proteins test career. Carbohydrates ka test karo. Sugar ke liye Benedix reagent etc ka test kariya. That is one part. The second part is mineral ion testing. Because honey does have certain minerals which are good for your immunity system. So in that solution you will again start off with an ion analysis and the cation analysis. Now honey may clarity ki problem nahi. It will be a clear original solution. So you don't need to bother much about how to make a solution clear before you start with the cation analysis. So since it is a clear solution, you can directly go about the analysis and get your results for your presence of ions in honey. That could be your fourth project idea. Moving on to the fifth project idea now. The fifth idea is of your breakfast cereals. Your breakfast cereals are Kellogg's, your Conflux, Muesli, Oats and um, Dahlia also is there. So these are some of your breakfast cereals which are in demand these days. You can analyze the iron content present in these breakfast cereals. So how do you You can take around, I am giving you rough estimates. Rest is by practicals how you would do it. 2 grams of your breakfast cereal layer add water to it then add concentrated nitric acid to it let's say 2 ml ke kari. 
सो दैट एनी फेरस इफ प्रेजेंट कन्वर्ट्स इन टू फेरिक उसके बाद बॉयल इट सो योर सीरियल का टू ग्राम्स यू कैन पाउडर इट इफ यू वॉन्ट पाउडर करके सीरियल को चाहे वो दलिया है कॉर्नफ्लेक्स है ओट्स है म्यूजिली है वट एवर इट इज सो सोल्यूशन बन गया बॉइल किया उसको दस से पंद्रह मिनट बॉइल करना ताकि ऑल दी आयन्स गेट एक्सट्रैक्टेड इन टू द सोल्यूशन उसके बाद यू नीड टू कूल इट कूल करने के बाद उसको फिल्टर करना है फिल्टर करना मुश्किल भी हो सकता है कई बार बहुत थिक पेस्ट हो जाता है दैट पेस्ट इज डिफिकल्ट टू फिल्टर सो वॉट आई वुड एडवाइस इज यूज अ सीव फ्रॉम योर किचन फर्स्ट फिल्टरेशन कैन बी डन वाई आर द सीव बट इट टेक टाइम इफ इट इज फिल्टरेबल थ्रू फिल्टर पेपल ऑसम दैट वुड बी द बेस्ट आफ्टर फिल्टरिंग प्लीज सी टू इट दैट यू हैड अराउंड टेन टू फिफ्टीन एम एल ऑफ वॉटर टू रिमूव ऑल द सोल्यूशन स्टिकिंग टू योर पी पी टी सो दैट ऑल द आयरन आयन्स फ्रॉम योर रेसिड्यू मूव इन टू द फिल्टर इट तो अच्छे से पानी से धोना जरूरी है वंस यू गेट दैट सोल्यूशन नाउ अज्यूमिंग दैट योर ब्रेकफास्ट सीरियल्स हैव आयरन कंटेंट इन दैम सो ऑल द सोल्यूशन दैट यू गेट विल हैव योर आयरन सॉल्ट इन इट अब आफ्टर दिस यू नीड टू एड सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन टू इट मेक इट बेसिक सो दैट ऑल द फेरिक ट्रांसफॉर्म्स इन टू फेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड रेडिश ब्राउन कलर का पीपीटी आ जाना चाहिए बाय एडिंग अराउंड टेन टू फिफ्टीन एम एल ऑफ एन यू एच नाउ एक बार पीपीटी सारा आ गया देन यू टेक अ प्री वेड फिल्टर पेपर एक फिल्टर पेपर को पहले से वे कर लेना उसके बाद यूज दैट फिल्टर सपोजिंग उसका वेट है वन ग्राम यूज दैट फिल्टर पेपर एंड फिल्टर ए फिल्टर ऑफ ऑल द रेडिश ब्राउन पीपीटी ऑफ फेरिक ऑक्साइड फेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर फिल्टर पेपर सो फिल्टर पेपर के ऊपर ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट यू विल गेट योर रेडिश ब्राउन कलर पी पी टी लेट इट ड्राई एंड देन री वेट लेट से द वेट इज वन पॉइंट एट विच मीन्स पॉइंट एट इज द वेट ऑफ योर फेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड सो यू कैन परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर डिफरेंट सीरियल्स फाइंड आउट द वेट ऑफ फेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड इन ऑल ऑफ दैम द वन विच हैज बट यूज द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ ब्रेकफर सीरियल If you are using two grams of cornflakes, then two grams of oats, two grams of muesli, two grams of dalia. That is how it will go. So that there is a comparative study. Use, make all of their solutions. Add nitric acid, boil it off, cool it, filter it to get a solution. To that solution, you will now add sodium hydroxide. Make it basic to get a PPT of reddish brown colored ferric hydroxide. This PPT will tell you how much was iron in your breakfast cereal. Please do it. Do filtration should be done in a pre-weighed filter paper so that the weighing of the ferric hydroxide is easier. Once you get your PPT, you will report your answer. Let's say I would write cornflakes. The amount of ferric hydroxide precipitated is 1.8 minus 1 gives me 0.8 grams of ferric hydroxide. The same I will do. I will do it for dalia. I will do it for cornflakes, and then there will be a comparative study that you can report. Now the basic advantage. अभी तक हमने पांच आइडियाज किए वी डिट एलोवेरा एनालिसिस वी डिट कोकोनट वाटर एनालिसिस हनी एनालिसिस एंड आयरन कंटेंट इन ब्रेकफास्ट सीरियल्स ये चारों प्रोजेक्ट्स कैन बी डन इन बायोलॉजी आल्सो। इसका क्या मतलब करेंगे तो एक ही बार यू डू इट जस्ट वंस बट रिपोर्ट इट इन टू वेज मेक टू प्रैक्टिकल फाइल्स प्रोजेक्ट फाइल्स सॉरी वन फॉर केमिस्ट्री वन फॉर बायोलॉजी वन वुड बी साइंड बाई योर बायो टीचर द अदर वुड बी साइंड बाई योर केमिस्ट्री टीचर तो जितने भी प्रोजेक्ट्स आर रिलेटेड टू फूड आर्टिकल्स उनमें बायो के लिए यू कैन एड डिजीज सेक्शन और न्यूट्रिशन सेक्शन और डेफिशंसी सेक्शन टू मेक इट अ बायोलॉजी प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो सो द प्रोजेक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू फूड आर्टिकल्स विच बी जस्ट इट दैट इज योर कोकोनट वॉटर हनी एनालिसिस एलोवेरा एनालिसिस Toothpaste can also go. That will give you about your dental requirements. That is up to you. But definitely aloe vera, coconut, and honey, and the iron contents in breakfast cereals can definitely go into your biology practical also. So, you have done one project, and it can be represented in both the subjects. Fine, because the teachers will be different. The same teacher will not come for your chemistry external and biology external. So, don't worry about it. Two files, make them. और दो जगह रिपोर्ट कर देना सो टाइम कम लगेगा एंड एक ही बार काम करने से यू विल हैव बोथ द प्रोजेक्ट्स रेडी दैट इज द एडवांटेज लास्टली यू हैव 
वन मोर आइडिया विच आई हैड टू प्रपोज इज अलॉय एनालिसिस अलॉय एनालिसिस में क्या करना है यू कैन टेक अलॉयस अब अलॉयस कौन से ले सकते हैं यू कैन टेक ओल्ड कॉइन्स पुराने जमाने का कोई कॉइन जो कि ब्राउनिश कलर का हो जिसमें कॉपर होने की प्रॉबेबिलिटी है और एल्स यू कैन यूज सेफ्टी पिन स्टेपल पिन बोर्ड पिनस ऑल पिनस क्लिप्स हेयर पिनस ऑल दोज मेटल आर्टिकल्स ऑल ऑफ देम आर अलॉयस एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज कॉइन्स अगर सिर्फ कॉइन्स यूज कर रहे हो इट कुड बी कॉइन एनालिसिस But if you are using safety pins etc., the articles from home, then in that case it could be called as an alloy analysis. ये कैसे करना है Whatever is your alloy, जो भी चीज article लिया है लेटेस्ट से मैंने safety pin लिया Safety pin दो लेके ताकि considerable amount आए Add them to a beaker and then add aqua regia. Now what is aqua regia? Aqua regia is three parts of concentrated HCl and one part of nitric acid. पार्ट ऑफ नाइट्रिक एसिड का मतलब You can do it this way कि take four beakers, take four different articles, which could be four different coins, या फिर four different articles like staple pins, all pins, safety pins and hair clips. चारों में you need to add aqua regia so that the article gets dipped into aqua regia. So make a sufficient amount of aqua regia, let's say थर्टी एम एल ऑफ एच सी एल कॉन्सेंट्रेटर एंड टेन एम एल ऑफ नाइट्रिक एसिड लेके मिक्स कर दिया और सब में डाल दिया एंड लीव इट फॉर अ डे You will have to leave it for a day. एक दिन के लिए छोड़ देना ताकि all the mineral ions are extracted into the aqua region. Next day when you come, with the help of pair of tongs, remove the article. If at all it is there, पूरा dissolve हो गया तो बात खत्म But if it is there, remove it. That is your leftover article. उसको छोड़ देना बाकी is your solution. Now this is the solution which you are going to use to check your cations. प्रेजेंट इन इट इसमें एनाइंस नहीं करना है इट इज ओनली कैटाइन एनालिसिस दिस इज हाईली एसिडिक एंड इट विल वर्क एज योर ओ एस तो दो ड्रॉप्स इसका सोल्यूशन का लेके एड वन एम एल ऑफ वॉटर नाउ यू दिस इज योर ओ एस एंड स्टार्ट डूइंग कन्फर्मेटरी टेस्ट डायरेक्टली फॉर लेट जिंक एल्यूमिनियम कॉपर एक्सेट्रा टू कन्फर्म द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मेटल आइंस इन इट बिकॉज अलॉय फॉर्मेशन इज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ D block of elements. So try to do the confirmatory tests for copper, iron, nickel, cobalt. You can even do aluminium because aluminium does form alloys because it's a lighter metal. And you can even try magnesium. Try all of them, but do the confirmatory tests only to give you a project file where you have analyzed your coins and you have, or else you have analyzed the alloys available in the daily life. So. I have ended today's video where I have shared six project ideas. All the project ideas are related to your salt analysis. So these project ideas would only be done by people who are good at salt analysis. But even if you are not good at salt analysis, salt analysis to करना ही पड़ेगा. You will have to prepare for the anion and cation analysis. So separately viva के लिए you don't need to prepare. Investigatory projects viva would be inclusive in your salt analysis. but in that case you should be very well prepared with your salt analysis viva so that the same viva would work for both i'll be uploading my next video would have more ideas on projects please do share these videos with your friends who have to do biology as well as chemistry projects in the boards fine so wait for my next video where i'll be uploading the next set of projects which will not be related to salt analysis fine Stay happy stay blessed do share love you all bye